नमस्ते चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू आर नेक्स्ट क्लास इन लास्ट क्लास यू लर्न अबाउट ल्यूमिनस एंड नॉन ल्यूमिनस ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड आल्सो लर्न हाउ द लाइट इज नेसेसरी टू सी एनी ऑब्जेक्ट यू लर्न इन टूडेज क्लास वॉट हैपन्स इफ एनीथिंग कम्स इन द वे ऑफ लाइट यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट कंटेंट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर here you can see in the picture the image or the shadow of a boy how the shadow is appeared on the wall you can see so before knowing this we'll see the things which we need to do the activity you need a torch light a balloon mounted on a stand and a white board mounted on a stand a cone shaped birthday cap and empty pencil box your content book workbook and the notebook you need all these things to learn this particular content now we will read the meanings of this lesson and the keywords what you are going to learn in this block we will see so the first one is shadow s h a d o w shadow means a dark patch formed when an object blocks the light so when a, anything comes in the way of light that object's shadow is formed that's what we will learn in today's class. shadow a dark patch formed when an object blocks light now you can see a ball mounted on a stand a white board a torch light a birthday cap and a pencil box this all you need and you just close all the doors and windows of your room and let a little light to pass so from where the light is entering you just keep this ball which is mounted on a stand you hold the stand at the bottom and keep this ball in the way of the light from where it's entering into the room and then you can observe the image of the ball in this board and you can also a light from the battery just focus and observe the images of ball birthday cap and pencil box how their images appear on the white board you observe it their shape and sizes also changes and you change the direction of light by using this battery so depending on the light source also the shadow shapes changes so to understand this once you watch the video how the shapes of the shadows are changing from at from the top if the light source fall on an object the shape of the shadow is very bigger it appears on the screen if the light falls from a side then the shape of the shadow changes either it will be long or it will be shorter depending on the light source so that you can see how will the shadow looks if light is thrown on these objects from the top and the screen is kept at the bottom how will these shadows look if light is thrown from any side and the screen is kept on the other side so how it changes the shape of the sand shadows are changing depending on the light source if the light fall from the top the shadows appear so long if the shadows if the light fall from the sides the shadows appear shorter so that you can see from the top when the light fall the shadows appear very short from the left or right side if the light falls that shadows appear longer and how these shadows shapes are changing based on the light you can see here in this video and try to understand more about the big shadows let's look at the shape of the shadow the ball makes the shapes of the shadows of the cap 
and the pencil box are different. If light falls on the objects from different directions, the shape of the shadows may also change. So you can understand how the shadow is formed when light falls from left side, when light falls from right side and also when light falls from top. So what will be the shape of the pencil box if a light is thrown from one of its sides which is a square. So the shadow of the pencil box will be a square if the light is thrown from the direction of the other square side. It will be rectangular in the light is thrown from the top and the screen is placed at the bottom. The shape of the shadow depends on the direction from where the light is thrown. So it the shadow size depending on the light source from where it is coming. Now how is a shadow formed and how does its shape changes? When a, an object forms a sa shadow on a screen, when light coming from a source is blocked by the object, that means literally you can say, if anything comes, light travels very fastly that you learnt in before class. So, and also light always travel in a straight line. So, if anything comes in that way of light, then that object's shadow is formed. The screen needs to be always placed on the opposite side of the light source. So if the light source is in front, the screen should be opposite side. Then only we can observe the shadow. The shape of the shadow changes when light is thrown on the object from the different directions. We can guess the shape of the shadow by looking at the surface of the object that blocks the light. So when light source fall on the screen straight on the top of the object when it fall so it gives a cylindrical shape of the shadow. When light fall from the sides it, it gives the shadow in rectangular shape. What will be the shape of a shadow? Shadow of a transparent glass sheet if we throw light on it. So we will not be able to see any dark shadow because it will not block the light. Transparent sheet is not blocking the light. It travels through the paper. So to form a shadow compulsory the object should be opaque. It should not allow the light to pass through it. We could see a faint shadow if the sheet allows some light to pass through it. If we want to see a shadow, the object has to block the light completely. The objects which do not allow light to pass through them, pass through them are known as opaque objects. So these opaque objects are only from the shadows. So having an opaque object is also compulsory to form the shadow. Now let us see the content book. What are the questions given in your content book you see? Tick the setup in which a shadow will be formed on the screen. So here the light source, then the object, then the screen. Will it form a... Is this setup form the opposite side of the light the screen should be so can they form the shadow here definitely because the object is in the middle and the light source is back side so the light is traveling in this way and then it can form the shadow opposite side it is so put a tick mark and the next position the light source in the middle and there is no object in the uh, light way, in the way of light there is no object and so here the shadow is not formed. In this case shadow can be formed. In setup A shadow is formed, in setup B they cannot form a shadow. And draw the shadow of each object 
in two setups so here the light source and both of the pictures a and picture b in both of them the object is in the middle so the light source when the light is traveling the object is coming in the middle so definitely it forms a shadow your job is just to draw the shadow of the object on the screen when there is light source the object is coming in the way so the shadow is formed in both the cases just you have to draw the shadow on given screen now third one a flower a see through glass and a wooden box are kept on a top under the sun are kept on a table top under the sun which of these will not form a dark shadow and why you know that to form the shadow compulsory opaque object should be it should not allow the light so when if you take a flower and a see through glass this see through glass cannot form the shadow because here the light may travel through this see through glass so it could not form the shadow whereas in the wooden box it stops the light rays so in the way of light in the way of light the object is coming the object is nothing but the flower then you can see the shadow of the flower because it's coming into the way of the light yes you can see only the wooden box where you used there only you can form the shadow where a see through glass is there there we cannot form a shadow is it clear so from this content you can understand to form any shadow compulsory the light source should be if anything comes in the way of light definitely we can see the shadows and to observe the shadow a screen should be always in the opposite direction of the light these two things are necessary and also an op opaque object only can make the shadows if we tell out the light to pass through it then we cannot see the shadows and the shape of the shadows changes when the light source depending on the light source if it fall from the top that shadows size will be different if it fall from the sides the shadow sizes are different so depending on the light source the shapes and sizes sizes of the shadow changes so before answering to the practice questions nicely you read what has given in the content book each and every word from the content book you go through i try to understand and then answer the practice questions when an object block the light coming from a light source a dark area called shadow is formed on a surface at the opposite side of the light source three things are needed for a shadow to form they are a source of light an object to block the light that is only called opaque object and a screen on which the shadow is formed here you can see how the teddy bear shadow is formed back side a light source is falling from the sides just now i told you when the light falls from the sides the shadow appears very long very big shadows appears if the light fall from the top of the object then the shadows appear shorter so here you can see the teddy bear shadow is very bigger than the teddy bear toy it's because the light is falling from the sides so a light source and an object that blocks the light and a screen on which the shadow is formed if we throw light on an object from different directions then the shapes of its shadow may be different here you can see shadow of a cylinder a circular shadow is formed when light is thrown from the sides a circular shadow is formed when it is shown the light is 
thrown from the sides a rectangular shadow is formed yes so like this the shapes of the shadows changes based on the light source objects such as book ball and pencil that can block the light completely so the objects which can block the light completely they form the shadows objects such as butter paper and colored glass pieces that cannot block the light completely so form faint shadows objects like a transparent glass window pane that cannot block the light so they do not form any shadows so it must be an opaque object to form a shadow now you see the practice questions which are given in this particular block you can see here the practice questions you want to make a shadow of a ball take the things you will need along with the ball to form the shadow so what else you need to form a shadow you tick air in the room is it needed air is not needed to form a shadow a screen like a ball definitely a light bulb is compulsory and draw the shapes of your shadows for these objects when light is shown on the on them from any one side and the screen is placed at their back so ball and candle how the ball shadow appears when light fall from the one side and the screen is placed at the back on any one side light source is at any one side and the ball in the way of the light and the candle also in the way of the light so you know if the light fall from the side the shadow appears very big so here you can draw ball and candle long shadows because the light is falling from the side they form a very long shadows draw these two in your notebook how will the shadow formed by a cardboard be different from the top of a butter paper butter paper allow partial light it allows half light to pass through it it allows the half light to pass through it and cardboard never allow the light to pass through it so it forms a clear shadow whereas the butter paper allowing only half the light so it forms a it it forms very sharpy shadow cannot be seen clear shadow but it forms the shadow so that is the difference between the opaque and the transparent objects compulsory a light is needed and a opaque object is needed and a screen is needed to see the shadows understood children so now complete this practice questions and 14.3 content book questions and send me the books thank you